Happy New Year, and to God be the glory. He has brought us through another year, and we are still standing. We have been fighting with the devil all year, and we're still standing. We've been fighting with COVID-19, but we're still standing. To God be the glory. To many of us, we've been fighting physical ailments. We've been fighting uh, heart problems and lung problems and knee problems and back problems and head problems and stomach problems. We've been uh, experiencing all kinds of problems, but we're still standing. And to God be the glory. We're here today because we are planning for the new year. You got a plan for the new year. God has some words for you as you plan for the new year. If you are planning for this new year, I want you to listen to God's word found in James chapter four, verse number 13, beginning. Listen to God as he gives us some words of wisdom about planning for the new year. Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year, and buy, and sell, and get gained. Whereas you know not what shall be on tomorrow, for what is your life? Even but a vapor that appear for a little time, and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now ye rejoice in your boasting. All such rejoicing is evil. Let's talk about planning for the new year. You got a plan? God has some plans for you. God has some words as you began to plan for the new year. What are your plans for the new year? The first thing this text tells me is that while we're planning, always include God in your planning. Always include God in your planning. Listen to what the Bible says again. But that ye ought to say, 
if the Lord's will. When you are planning, you take in, into a consideration the Lord's will. If the Lord's will, may God a part of your plans. May God a part of your wedding plans. May God a part of your business plans. May God a part of your career plans. Make God a part of all of your plans, your retirement plans, your investment plans. Make God a part of all of your plans. If you're planning, if you're planning this year, make God a part of all of your plans. Don't you forget God. Oh, no, don't you forget God. In all of your blessings, don't you forget God. Oh, do you remember Israel? Just about before they were just about to go into Canaan's land, God had a talk with Israel. And this is what God said to Israel in the long ago in Deuteronomy chapter number six and verse number 11 and 12. God says, I'm going to give you the land of Canaan, the promised land. I'm going to drive out the Canaanites and I'm going to give you this land that's flowing with milk and honey. And when you get over there, God said in so many words, everything will be laid out. There will be houses there that you didn't build. There will be some wells there that you didn't dig. There will be vineyards there that you didn't plant. There will be olive trees that you didn't plant. And then God says, when you get over there, and you start enjoying all of the milk and the honey. You start enjoying all of the privileges and the blessings of the, of the land. Don't forget the God that brought you. Don't you get over there and have amnesia. Don't get over there and don't you forget that I brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of slavery. And I brought you through the desert. Don't forget that I fed you in the desert. Don't forget that I gave you water in the desert. I put shoes on your feet. Don't you forget. Don't you forget. My friends, in this new year, God began to bless you. Don't you forget about God. You began to drive your fancy cars. Don't you forget about God. You live in your fancy homes. Don't you forget about God when you began to eat T-bones instead of neck bones. Don't you forget about God. You forget when you start enjoying all of the money and all of the investments. Don't you forget about God. And, and this is what the message says to us today. Include God in all of your planning. Whatever you're planning, include the mighty God of heaven. And then this text says, don't be boasting about tomorrow. Don't boast about tomorrow. Listen to what the Bible says in verse number 14. Whereas you know not what shall be on tomorrow. Don't you keep boasting about tomorrow as though you have a tomorrow. Don't you know that God can cancel all of your plans? Don't you know that God can cancel all of your tomorrows? Don't you know that God has time in the palm of his hands? Oh, yes, God has time in the palm of his hand. That song that says he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He got the little bitty baby in his hands. He got you and me brother in his hands. He got you and me sister in his hands. And God has time in his hands. So don't you go boasting about what you're going to do on tomorrow. I remember several years ago, I laid down one Friday night. And oh, I began to plan what I was going to do the next day. I said, James, when you get up in the morning, you're going to wash your car. When you get up in the morning, you're going to mow the lawn. When, James, when you get up in the morning, you're going to clean the house. And, and I kept on saying, when you get up in the morning, and it finally dawned on me, James, you got the wrong adverb. It's not when you get up, it's if you get up. If you get up. If you get up. If the Lord's will 
that you get up, you're going to do such and such. That's what the Bible says. And oh, my friends, this year, this year, don't you forget, when you're planning, remember in your plans that life is short. Oh, I want you to, I want you to know, and God wants you to know that, that life is short. Listen to what he says. What is your life? It's even but a vapor that appear for a little time and then it vanishes away. When you're planning for this year, don't you forget that life is short. It's just like vapor. It's just like steam coming out of a kettle. Now you see it. Now you don't. That's the way life is. That's the way life is. And, and God says in our text that when you are planning your life, don't you forget that life can be short. Oh, David said these words, there is but a step between me and death. Life is short. Life is short. And no one knows when they're going to take that last step. So, my friends, while you are planning this year, being that you know that life is short, you ought to enjoy your life. Let me say it again. You ought to enjoy your life. Enjoy the rest of your life. Enjoy this year. This is what God says. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. God wants you to enjoy the riches that he's given you. God wants you to enjoy the blessings. Would you enjoy all of God's blessings today? This new year, while you're planning, plan to enjoy the blessings of God. Oh, yes. Enjoy life. Enjoy this year. Enjoy the new year. Happy New Year. This is Brother James Gray, the minister of the Eastside Church of Christ. We love you. And may God richly bless you this year and the rest of your life. Against me, but God will stand so true.